Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat, my daily broadcast. This is episode 766. And the topic today is, did you learn the first time or will you learn now? It's going to be a little history lesson, so we say. Um, before I jump into that, into that, let me introduce myself, see who I am and why I do these talks every day, even on a Sunday, that's hence the casual attire. Simply put, well, let me, let me do it this way around. I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. That's what drives everything I do. I'm here to serve women, inspire and support them, to honor them, respect them. That's kind of what drives my everyday actions and when I'm around women, that's kind of what is my um, come from. Which is why I moved into this whole area in the first place of being a relationship attraction expert for strong, successful women who want to create balance in love, life and business. It also what inspired my work in the first place because I was so messed up about this, I had to dive in. That also led to my book, which is called 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. It's a best-selling book about love and relationships for men and women, couples and singles. Yes, I'll put the link in the comments. And also what drives me to speak about this in everyday fashion. Some of these talks are for women, some are for both. This one is probably going to be for both men and women. Different introduction than usual, just to try something different. And I've done these talks now for over two years called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, Inspiring the Women. And today we're episode number 766, because I've done a lot of these. And again, the topic is, have you learned, did you learn the first time, or will you learn this time? And what I'm talking about is actually gonna be two things. And I'm gonna talk about the whole challenge of relationships and not learning the painful lessons of the past, but I also wanna talk about when you missed opportunities, when you learn to grab hold of the good stuff that happens too, because something happened today for me that really woke me up and inspired me to the other side of the coin so to speak so let me first talk about the bad stuff first let's get out let's get the history out of the way first then we'll get into the positivity positivity the positive focus next i think so okay so first of all um and i've talked about this in other ways before so i want to give it a quick cliff notes version this time in the area of relationships particularly i use that as a model but i'll talk about this in other areas as well in the area of relationships if you haven't learnt the lessons, as in the challenges, the, I want to say karma, but certainly the, the painful lessons of past relationships where who you were in relationship with started treating you the same way as the one before that, which wasn't good. And so you end up going through a painful breakup or a painful journey, we had to end up breaking up with them. And afterwards you look back and go, this happened before. And the lessons go back several times to your, probably your teens even, if not before that where you recognize the same patterns or a thread all the way back to the beginning. The beginning being, when you first had that imprinted program put in when you were a kid. And I'll cover this in much greater detail, but I'm giving you the Cliff Notes version very briefly. But here's the thing. The way you know this is true, if you didn't learn the lesson, is if you're still noticing that your last relationship you had, or the one you're in now, has the flavors and the experiences or the um, behaviors of your previous relationship or seven and that the partnerships you're having may be different people, but the same thing keeps happening. That's a clue, that's a signpost pointing back at your childhood, because that's usually where it starts because of something you got imprinted with by your parents, meaning that you either saw them interact a certain way or they treated you a certain way, that got you to a place where you believe that's the way love was associated, or you, sorry, that was where you got to associate that with love, meaning that when you saw them yelling at each other, you presume that's what love and that the love and, and yelling came together. So you seek that out when you were a, when you were adult in your adult relationships. You would seek that out without knowing you were doing it. This is the thing. This is why I didn't learn the first time because the odds are likely that you had no clue you were doing that. You just go out and might meet somebody who's very cool, but three months in, they start doing the same thing to you that maybe your dad did to your mum or mum did to your dad or vice versa. That's the Cliff Notes version, a very, a very deep work that I do with my clients, but I want to give you just the like, yikes version so you can get through it, because I want to get to the other part, which is the more inspirational and positive direction stuff. Um, actually, before I do that, let me just say this. One of the things I'll put in the comments as well is a link to a, a clarity conversation with me so we can get clear about what's going on for you if you want to get some help. That's a complimentary gift from me to you. You can sign up for another one of those too. That'll be in the links in the comments too. All right. Switching gears to the positive or to the inspirational side. We are all, this is Sunday, I can say this, it's spiritual. <laughs> we are all divinely connected 
I, I've talked about this before because from my own spiritual teachings and learnings I've been through is that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience which means we're much better much bigger much better much healthier much greater than we give ourselves credit for including you and including me and that means also that we have gifts and talents that oftentimes we suppress what I've become aware of because somebody gave me some very interesting feedback today that they watch me when I do my talks where I basically start to open up and something else comes through like a deeper place and I've said it a couple of times I've recognized it but it took me a while to actually accept appreciate and allow it which is that download of information that comes through me I'm not channeling I know that because I'm still here when I'm doing it because channeling for me what I'm aware of is when you're channeling something we step aside and the channel comes through that's again woo woo stuff but I'm aware that I'm opening up to hearing from a place that is more wise than I believe I am so I'm actually smarter than I give myself credit for because I'm tapped into a smarter place than I'm usually dealing with. Yes, I'm being selfish about that. But I'm becoming clearer that I actually do trust that. Now, here's the thing. That's given me feedback in situations and circumstances, not just relationships, where I've noticed that I get an inner feeling. Sometimes it's just words that I hear. It's like, this is not aligned, or say this, or do this. Or it's something where I just feel either an alignment or a disjointed, like, it doesn't fit. When I trust that, good things happen. When I don't trust it, anything can happen. Good, bad, or indifferent. But what I mean to say is that we all have that, that place we can tap into. Even you, yes, even you. <laughs> all of us have this gift, but I'm aware that I have been become much more, much more responsive and much more tuning to listen to it. Because that's the thing, this whole, um, less than the first time versus multiple times is I didn't necessarily listen to it before and I remember somebody telling me once about intuition just to about that for a second is that intuition is always happening for us however it only gets better when we say when we actually listen to it meaning that it's going to play in the background the whole time it doesn't go away it just goes to the background but if we start listening to it and tuning into it and responding to it it becomes brighter louder clearer and easier to connect to and that's what I'm learning to do myself, and I'm inviting you to do the same thing. This lesson I'm talking about in the title is not just about relationship issues, because there are other situations, circumstances with maybe money, or um, people you take seminars, who you study with seminars, or somebody you take on as a coach, or somebody who you seek out as a teacher, master, whatever that is, and you have the same thing happen again and again, where you maybe chose, didn't choose wisely. Maybe you did. But the thing about it is, same as intuition, it's a thing we can tap into ourselves where there's wisdom we have, all of us, that we can tap into and guides us to say yes to the right things and say no to things that maybe aren't so right. This is a very, this is not my usual sort of talk, I know, I just want to speak about this because it's my own experience now, that I'm really finding this is becoming my guiding, um, it's not a voice so much as a guiding feeling, I haven't got a great word for it necessarily, but it's definitely intuitive. It's connected in, it's a wiser place, and I'm trusting it more and more when I'm coaching. I'm trusting it more and more when I do these talks. You may have noticed over the last few months that I do tend to talk and then stop and then have something else come through clearer because I tap in during the talk. I haven't had it happen right at the beginning of a talk yet. I'm open to that happening. But I'm also aware that I'm getting will more willing to listen to it as I'm talking to actually stop and let that come through when it does. And the reason I'm telling you this Besides Trump tooting my own horn, so to speak, <laughs> tooting my own trumpet, whatever that was, but to say that you have the same gift, you have the same talent, the same resource, the same inspiration inside of you, that will guide you to say yes to the right things. Now, you may have had a few experiences where you said right, said yes to the wrong things, and you don't trust that right now. But I strongly suggest that's not the self as I'm, that you're actually listening to. If you notice in the title, I put it self in capitals because I'm talking about the, the greater self, the bigger self, the in some teachings called the higher self, highfalutin, I know. But what, I'm, what that part really is, is the part of us that's wiser and more aware than our just simple basic instinct is. And I'm aware of, after all, I mean, it's funny, I mean, I heard about this stuff uh, over 30 years ago, so I'm still getting things to figure out. I'm not saying it's that slow, you can do it quicker than I did. And hopefully my talks have been helping you get that understanding because it is something that is um, available all the time. But I'm very aware more and more how I'm feeling that hunch. It's almost, it's not a hunch either, but feeling that resonance showing up more easily than other times. And you, again, you can too. So 
this is just a quick talk because I wanted to just get it out there because it was something that was on my mind for a while. And uh, again, a friend of mine this morning just she she said she loved because she does the same thing. How she notices me just tuning into it, and I didn't really get it as clearly until she said it back to me. So I'm talking about it now because it's on my on my mind. So there's a dual talk here. You are aware, tuned in, listening. You know clear enough when you're aligned to something and also when you're not aligned to something. So here's the thing. When you're in a place in a relationship where perhaps, excuse me, in a relationship or a circumstance or an environment or in a conversation or something else, where you know, absolutely you know, and you know when you have this experience, where it doesn't fit, doesn't line up, doesn't like, doesn't match to you, are you brave enough to walk away? Because if you're not, that's where your next level of growth is. And on the same side, of the, on the other side of the coin from what I said earlier, is if you get to the place where you step in and you're in an environment where it is absolutely a yes for you, even if it feels like so out of, out of your comfort zone and it's like, whoa, not sure about that, but you know intuitively it's a yes. Are you willing to step in and say yes to it fully or are you going to run away from it? Because I've done that myself. I've run away more than once. So I'm saying this for myself as well as for you, that we all have the opportunities to say no to what doesn't work and say yes, what does work. That's really the simplest way of living life, frankly. Living life from a place of what does work and saying no to things that don't work is kind of like the ABCs of life. So consider yourself given some preschool teaching right here. <laughs> preschool teaching for adults. So this makes sense. This is kind of like a thing I'm exploring and talking to myself and I'm working with my clients on this too who are interested. As always, I will put links in the comments as I said before, the book I mentioned, um, discover a session with me, we can talk about stuff if you want to get some help. And this is my daily chat. If you want to get help, message me over social media or do something where you, you know, follow out the form. Um, I'm gung ho on this. This is definitely just, this is up leveling my game by saying this out loud, and it's what I'm focusing on. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, although I'm noticing that it's hard to get through all, through all of them. I was looking through yesterday, and it stops at a certain point. It may just be the refresh rate wasn't working, but my replays are on my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby to author, and as backup, and thankfully I'm glad I've got backup, on my YouTube channel, which has all of them on no problem at all, there's a playlist called Messages for the Masculine on my, um, under my channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And you can find them all under that title. You can actually search. If you scroll through enough of them, you can type in searches in your browser and you'll find them. And personally, I think that's easier than on the Facebook version. However, on Facebook, you can comment in flow and I can respond to the comments more easily there. I think that made sense. So bottom line is very simple. Say yes to what works. So no to what doesn't in life everywhere and your life will transform. There you go. Play that one for a while. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And uh, as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.